Hey Matt, here at uh, Tile Yard at hey, Gearfest. How's it um, going? It's good actually, yeah. Um, so yes. I, I, we've covered the news of the Big Six, but I've never yeah. seen this in person. Okay, cool. And it looks really tasty. Can you tell yeah. us a bit about it? Yeah, I can. So essentially, uh, it's a larger version, obviously, hence big uh, version of the Six. Um, big differences are, first off, it's an interface. So here we've got it set up with Logic. Um, all of the inputs uh, on here can be switched between USB or analog, so you can use it to track through. It's got four mic preamps on the super analog channels. Um, it's also got two sets of stereo Q stems. Each channel has got a three band EQ. On the super analog ones, you've got a low and high frequency shelf, which is switchable between a bell curve and shelf. Uh, and then the mid frequencies there as well. And then they also have the one knob compressor. So a lot of this will be so familiar from the original six. Um, and then you have the four stereo line channels, which still have the EQ on them without the compressor. Um, and then on the back, for all of these connections that we've got, instead of, um, you do have the XLR inputs there, but you've also got basically all jacks for all the different buses, all the different sends. Ah, so okay, so all, all line it's not, not D types anymore, so. No, no. Um, which is a lot more universal for a lot more users, I think. SSL really listens to that, and, yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, it's expensive wiring up D-type D looms, it is, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, the, the USB returns, are these, yeah. they, can they be stereo or mono, or is it, these are mono channels? So, with the mono channels, they're mono, and with the stereo channels, they are stereo, but they are switchable between stereo and mono on those stereo channels. Um, right, got so, you. if you have a mono source, you can run it through in mono. Um, and is that so? The one knob compressor is that yes. kind of? I mean, everybody wants the bus compressor, right? Do yes. they get any of that? They do, yeah. So up here we've got the um, miniaturized version of the G series bus compressor. Um, so it's a little redesigned to make it fit in that small space, um, but essentially has the same kind of thing you'd expect: the glue, the punch, the cohesion. Um, but you have control over threshold and of makeup gain, and then there's also the auto release built into this one as well. So you get that kind of. Um, initial response to fast transients, but a much more consistent one for slower ones, essentially. So now you've got the uh, the Bus Plus, you're going to have to start introducing all of those, the feed forward and all that yeah, stuff, right? Yeah. Yeah. In the next one. Yeah. Okay. Big Six Plus, right? Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. So the, I mean, the, the I, and I think we did a review of I think it was the Six, which was just a stereo. Was it a stereo? I, I didn't. It was so, Gaz that did that. So Six has two super analog channels yeah. and then it has two stereo line channels alongside it um, yeah I think it's a lot yeah. smaller isn't it yeah. yeah yeah exactly so this has been out for a little while I mean I guess your uh, uh, manufacturing not an issue you can get them in the stores and all that yeah stuff. yeah absolutely no it's been good and what's the what's the UK price have you got that <laughs> I think it's around the 2k mark but yeah Matt thanks a lot no problem